Hey guys, welcome to another showcase of Unity's best assets for January 2020. Now, there's a hell of a lot of assets that I wanted to show in this one, so I'm going to try and be as speedy as possible. The first one is something called the Crash Crate, and it's, as it suggests, is a destructible crate, which comes with three specific LODs, one high, medium, and a low breakable versions. You can shoo and respawn the actual crate itself. It comes with the interior of a warehouse and sound effects. The next one is something called Cool Visual Effects, and it contains nine different specific effects using the visual shader graph and it includes two types of fireworks, two portals, magic ball, a wave effect, a morphing effect, a star field, and a snowfall effect, all tested with 2019.3 using the high definition render pipeline. The next one is the coffee shop starts pack. I know this is probably not one for everybody, but I thought it looked cool, so why not? And it's got 50 unique low poly assets specifically ready for an in-game and to start your own coffee shop if that's really what you want, which comes with an assortment of an espresso machine, stove, pan, teapots, different types of cupboards, different types of teacups, cupcakes, cheesecakes, different types of toast, juice, absolutely loads of stuff in there. The next one is called Script Hierarchy Icons and this is a nice little utility where you can place icons in the hierarchy for scripts and the simple things that you want to give attributes to. The next one is something called Fluid UI Complete Toggle Pack. It's a clean and lightweight solution for integrating specific variations of toggles within Unity so you can have several seamless transitions between the UIs. It's got multiple demo scenes and you can create different looks of the toggles themselves. The next one is the wireframe training character. It's inspired by the modern fighting games and the wireframe has that sort of sci-fi look and effect similar to my, my neon pack that I created and it includes six animations of this character which is about three and a half thousand faces with 2k textures and it includes animations for fighting idle one and two, punch kick, block and standing idle. So this is a destructible CRT monitor and it has around three and a half thousand triangles when it includes in a PBR workflow and you can destroy it. The next one is the fantasy chess RPG character Arthur and this is a specific character suitable for an RPG or action type of game with about six thousand triangles with 512 by 512 textures with a simple icon and special effects to go with it. It does have a selection of six animations for idle walk attack active, passive, and dead. The next one is the simple crosshair generator, and it allows you to generate a custom static crosshair to use in your Unity project, so you can customize the look and the feel with the size, the color, where it's centered, the gap, the thickness. The next one is my tutorial scene that I released in January. So this is just what I would use in most of my tutorials, coming with some just primitive assets, because people wanted to get hold of it, including the textures and a bit of the lighting in there. So if you want something to run around with, download load it for free. The next one is the PB Thunder Hammer Forge and it's a handcrafted specific blueprint which includes all the props and assets for a forge type environment and includes a just drag and drop scenario you can paint the surroundings and then you can add your own plants and crops and trees to finish off the look and feel of this overall uh, stylized design. The next one is something called Mesh Combiner that you can have specific objects in your game and every object that exists in your game will be an overhead on the game so when you combine these into one mesh it takes the draw calls down because they're all sharing the same uh, mesh render essentially so this allows you to combine different meshes into one to save the batches and the draw calls within your game the next one is the free animated hologram effect and it's a hologram effect which uses the material shader that can be applied to both 2d and 3d objects and you can change the speed the color and the direction of the actual hologram itself. The next one is called Interactive Comic Maker and this is a simple system for creating your own digital style comics to create an adventure. It has pages set at standard 1080p resolution and it allows you to add little bubbles and specific digital comic assets within Unity itself. The next one is the Illustrated Nature Sample and it is for the 3D standard pipeline Within Unity, it comes with some highlighted features, which includes a diorama scene, a custom grass and pine shaders, and a custom audio track. It includes five unique models, which include a pine tree, a tall pine tree, and then three different types of grass. And last but not least is the Dance Animations Free Pack, and this is a selection of funky looking dance moves, I guess, that you can use 
and it's compatible with any mechanim characters and it does include the male and female dummy models with a total of six different specific animations for dancing. So these were all the assets that I've featured and you can check out all the other ones in the description as I will leave a link to everything featured for this month. So this was a mega pack so be sure to thank all the developers for creating these great assets for free. Check out all my free assets and others on the Unity store. Be sure to join the community discord if you're looking to share some of your work. Take a look at my Patreon if you're looking to support the channel. As always, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.